Hey, Scott Gibson here with the Keaton and Company team and Newman and Dunn Real Estate. Just wanted to make a real short two minute video on a couple things you could do if you're looking to sell your house in order to uh, increase uh, its visual appeal. One of the things that you can do is actually replace all your sockets and switches and their covers in your house. What it does is it gives your house a new clean look uh, just when it comes to that type of stuff, you'd be surprised at how when you replace them. Um, I choose, I don't always use the white ones because it gives a nice clean look to it, uh, but it just makes the home feel that much brighter. So a couple things you're going to need in order to do this. Uh, one is you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head is um, for the actual sockets, I mean, excuse me, for the screws on the socket itself or for the light switch, it doesn't matter which one you're doing. The screws themselves are going to be Phillips head. Though you can use a flat head, Phillips head gives you a better grip. You're also going to need a flathead screwdriver. That is going to be for the screws that are in the cover. The cover on the, these things typically have flathead screws in them, uh, so you're going to need that to back that off. Last but definitely not least, you are going to need a tester. Uh, this one right here is made by Southwire. Uh, it costs about 10 bucks at a, your local hardware store. Uh, this little tip right here, when it gets close to a hot wire, meaning a wire that has electricity going to it, it will light up red, but it'll also make a noise. It'll beep, and it'll let you know that you have not turned off the power yet. Uh, so how do you get started is you actually go ahead and go to your breaker box, um, figure out which breaker is going to whatever, whether you're doing a plug or whether you're doing a, a switch. We're going to do a plug real quick, um, but you go ahead and flip that off. Go over, to the, go over to the plug, put your tester, and you can actually take your tester and you actually touch it right to it. When it gets close, um, it's plastic, so it's not going to electrocute you, but it's close. If it starts to beep, that means that the power is still running to it. Go back and flip, figure out which one you did flip off and flip it off. If it doesn't beep, good. You're actually on your way there. You're going to go ahead and take your flathead screwdriver, back the center screw out, because on a switch, there's only going to be one screw. That's actually what this hole is for right here. It's holding the plate cover over it. Back that off, and then you're going to take your Phillips head screwdriver, and take the top screw out of here and the bottom screw out of here. And what those are doing is actually holding it into the box. Go ahead and back that off, take that out. You're gonna see then at that point, you're gonna have, um, we're gonna go with the three wire one. There is five wire ones, but for right now I'm explaining the three. You're gonna have a black wire going to your gold. You're gonna have a white wire going to your silver. And then you're gonna have a green wire or an uncovered wire, depends upon how old the house is, or maybe no wire. <laughs> if it's that old, uh, it's ground wire going right here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take it and you're gonna turn it left to back the screw out away from it. And then you're gonna pull the wire off. You may need some needle nose pliers in case depending upon how hard it is now in order to pull that off. You're gonna do the same thing for the silvers, take the white wire off, and the same thing for the green. Now if you notice on here that you can see there's a little gold tab between the silvers, same thing with the golds, okay? For the three wire, you wanna make sure you leave that tab connected because what that's doing is it's giving power to not only the top plug, but also the bottom one. So once you get your old one out, you go ahead and set this one up. You actually go ahead and take this one and you'll take your black wire and you wrap, let's say you use the top one, that's fine. Go ahead and wrap it around the top gold and then you tighten it down on there. Get it pretty tight. You don't want it to be wiggling at all. Uh, wiggling with electrical work is not a good thing. You can do the same thing with the silver to the, with the white wire and then you're gonna take that ground wire and you're gonna go ahead and attach it to the green one. All right, after you get those attached, simply make sure that they're nice and tight and then you can go ahead and actually take these top screws and you're going to go in the bottom screw and you're going to go ahead and put it right back into the uh, right back into the electrical box. Once it's in the electrical box, um, you can go ahead and put the faceplate back on it. That's perfectly fine. Once you get the faceplate on it, uh, you're good to go. Now all you need to do is go to your circuit breaker and cut the, uh, cut the breaker back on and you've replaced your one switch. Sounds easy um, and it actually fairly is as long as you're making sure that you're paying attention to uh, make sure the, electric, the, the electricity is off. Uh, make sure you absolutely do that. You don't want to electrocute yourself. Done that a couple of times. It doesn't feel that great. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this, these tips right here um, are something you can use to help sell your house. Uh, be looking ahead for more of my videos, um, different little ways you can uh, fix your house up to make it look that much better uh, for when you go ahead and get ready to put it on the market. Hope this video was informative. Uh, look forward to hopefully hearing from you guys. My name is Scott Gibson, and uh, we're glad, glad, glad to hear from you.